I want to start by saying that there is no strategic reason for the CIA to be honest about anything, ever. Anytime the mainstream media mentions the CIA, it's usually safe to assume that they are lying about something in order to strategically misinform you. So with that in mind, let's analyze some of the recent things that were said by the CIA and the media this week. The CIA took to Twitter to claim responsibility for at least half of UFO sightings in the 1950s and 60s, claiming that the high-altitude silvery-winged U-2 spy plane would reflect the sun from 60,000 feet during the early evening hours when commercial airlines at 20,000 feet were in darkness, leading many westbound pilots and other witnesses to see fiery balls of light that were reported as UFOs during the 50s and 60s. In the document, the CIA claims that the U.S. Air Force's Operation Blue Book out of Wright-Patterson was able to match at least 50% of collected UFO reports against U-2 flight logs, confirming that over 50% of UFO sightings during that period were actually reflections off of high-altitude U-2 spy planes. Unfortunately, there is no way to confirm the CIA's story on this since those U-2 flight logs are still classified. And even if you did just take their word for it that this was true, it still doesn't account for the other 50% of UFO sightings collected by the U.S. Air Force under Project Blue Book during that time period. And before I go any further, I just want to clarify that a UFO is simply an unidentified flying object. Far too many people confuse UFO with alien or little green men, which is completely wrong. A UFO is simply a flying object that can't be readily identified. A UFO could be a frisbee, a U-2 spy plane, or any other flying object. A UFO is not necessarily an alien spacecraft, and believing in UFOs, or that people see UFOs, doesn't imply that you also believe that Earth is being visited by extraterrestrials or that all UFOs are really aliens, so you might want to brush up on your terminology before you make a complete fool out of yourself trying to debate this topic. Nonetheless, you see no shortage of people who only read misleading headlines with the CIA claiming it was us and jump to the conclusion that this somehow means that all UFO sightings from the 1950s and 60s were really the CIA or have somehow been debunked by this latest unproven assertion that the CIA has come forth with. There are over 1,500 case files in the Blue Book archive, with hundreds of cases that can't be readily explained by things like swamp gas or reflections off of high-altitude aircraft or other natural phenomena. However, this does not by default imply that these unexplained cases are all aliens. In fact, there are some very good reasons to discount the idea that UFOs are extraterrestrial in origin. Consider the issue of technology. In order to get all the way here to Earth from distant stars, UFOs would need to be equipped with some sort of interstellar travel capabilities, either a warp drive or a faster-than-light capability in order to traverse the incredibly long distances between stars. Such technology is sufficiently advanced that we probably won't see anything like it for another thousand years. Our best scientists have no idea how to make an interstellar warp drive. What our scientists do know how to do is make things go invisible. Playing with light is far easier than playing with gravity. Scientists here on Earth currently know all about metamaterials, holograms, mirages, and cloaking devices. At the same time, we have no idea what gravity even is, let alone how to manipulate it or control it to travel between stars. So it's pretty safe to assume that if ET has the technology to get here to Earth, then they most certainly also know how to make invisibility cloaks, which are far easier to create than warp drives meaning that if UFOs were alien in origin, then they want to be seen, because otherwise they'd be cloaked and no one would see or report them. Think about it for a second. If aliens have the tech to get here from distant stars, then they would certainly have the technology to make themselves invisible. So why not use it? Why allow yourself to be seen? For what strategic purpose? When you consider the reality of invisibility and cloaking technology, it severely discredits the notion that UFOs are extraterrestrial in origin. So if UFOs aren't aliens, then what are they? Unfortunately, that question can only be answered on an individual, case-by-case -case basis. And not all UFO cases are so easily explained, even though many have been solved. While I don't doubt the plausibility of the U-2 spy plane being responsible for a good number of UFO sightings and reports throughout the 1950s and 60s, I also have no reason to trust the word of professional liars like the CIA until we can actually see those declassified U-2 flight logs and confirm for ourselves that they indeed match over 50% of the cases in the Blue Book file. 
Unfortunately, that type of intelligence is a bit more sensitive than the stuff we see released in this heavily redacted 272-page CIA document on the Oxcart program. So it's unlikely that we will ever see a confirmation of this over 50% figure given to us by the CIA. I highly doubt that those flight logs will ever be declassified, seeing as even the names of the air bases like Atsugi in Japan, where many of the U-2 flights over Russia took off from, are redacted from the report. So as you consider the validity of the CIA's claim that over 50% of UFO sightings in the 50s and 60s can be directly attributed to the U-2 spy plane, also consider that they might be lying about this for some other strategic purpose. In any case, if you enjoyed my commentary and analysis on this story, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.